A A A with Tears of the Kingdom just one month away, the hype has never been higher. I know this video is a little weird for the channel. I don't really post. I haven't posted anything about Zelda in general. Just stay with Xenoblade. But this is just too hype. I had to cover this. All right. This was just too insane. I had to cover this. With us getting the final trailer for Tears of the Kingdom today, speculation has been running wild for me and everyone else. It's insane. We got one month left, four weeks. And I just wanted to come at y'all with a little theory of my own that could actually work. It sounds insane, but it could actually work. And it's all thanks to this one image right here. This image is showing the defeat of the Calamity, the initial defeat of the Calamity, 10,000 years before the events of Breath of the Wild. Now, in this image, given with the new trailer we got, it's pretty obvious to see who these two characters are. The left over here is Hylia, because in the trailer we got today, we see Hylia, as well as rehydrated ganondorf and demise actually and this all falls into a nice theory i have now supposedly obviously nothing none of this any of this is true and is just speculation but the left over here is hylia not zelda and on the right is actually ganondorf and not link so Ganondorf and Hylia could have been teaming up together to fight the Calamity and there's a couple reasons why I think this is actually Ganondorf first because this is not Link if you look at Link's icon in Age of Calamity it is a lot different it's very very different and actually shout outs to the homie Tryon for even noticing this and telling me this I didn't no, because I haven't I haven't played Age of Calamity yet, but he pointed this out, so go support my guy. And also, if you look in Ganondorf's official art that Nintendo of America dropped earlier today, you can see he has a sword. And if you look very, very closely, the blade of his sword is blue, just like the sword in that tapestry of breath of the wild so that and just the overall appearance with the long red hair and kind of like beast looking face the beast face could be more resemblant of the theme of ganon and not just an actual depiction of him but just the theme of ganon so this could very well be ganondorf and zelda or ganondorf and hylia fighting together to keep the calamity um contained and this leads into my overall theory that perhaps ganondorf could actually become an ally later in the game and for the final fight of the game it's link zelda and hylia joined by ganondorf to all fight and defeat demise and you know ganondorf could actually be a good guy and how this would work is that ganondorf somehow or maybe collecting all seven tiers of the kingdom. Now this might be a little sketchy since depending on who holds the tiers, there's other videos about that. But maybe by collecting all seven tiers of the kingdom allows uh, Zelda, Link, and Ganondorf to awaken their full Triforce pieces. And now that they're all together, uh, like the power of the Triforce, overpowers Demise's curse on Ganondorf and frees him from that and he goes back to his original self who was originally an ally of the Hyrule Kingdom and as we know the D curse of Demise way back in Skyward Sword where the entire series started from uh, Demise was known as the Demon King and he rose from the ground and started wreaking havoc on Hyrule and eventually by the end of the game Link defeats Demise using the Master Sword, which was created from the Goddess Sword, which was created from Hylia, so effectively Hylia defeating Demise, and he put a curse of endless, you know, an endless curse and revival of his hatred 
which resurrects as Ganondorf every time. And as far as we know, I'm pretty sure this is the case, but the Ganondorf we see in all of the games that he appears in is all of the same Ganondorf starting from Ocarina of Time. We see him in Ocarina of Time, uh, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess. While Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, Ganondorf, those are in two different timelines, it's still effectively the same Ganondorf. So the Ganondorf we see in Tears of the Kingdom could be the Twilight Princess Ganondorf, seeing he has the same hole in his chest as Twilight Princess Ganondorf does. So this is the same Ganondorf that we've had throughout the series, and ever since he was born he had this curse on him from Demise, you know, he was part of the Demise curse, he was the resurrection of Demise. And in the trailer, we actually see Demise himself, or what seems to heavily imply to be Demise. You can see from the fiery red hair, it's a lot different from Ganondorf's hair. We see in the official art compared to what we see in the trailer, it's nowhere near the same in terms of, you know, length and just the way it looks. And his skin kind of seems scaly like Demise's skin, so perhaps this is Demise finally uh, coming out into his, you know, physical form again, just like we see Hylia apart from Zelda, we'll see Demise apart from Ganondorf, and somewhere along the line, maybe collecting the tears, something to do with the Triforce, something, um, Ganondorf is strong enough or something happens to where the curse on Ganondorf by Demise is broken and Ganondorf comes to his senses and joins the the rest of the party to fight against Demise but he eventually fails they fail they either are success, successful in beating Demise but not before he recasts the curse on the Ganondorf and then Ganondorf is killed or sealed away by Demise or perhaps Hylia and Zelda as he's retaken over by the curse and they have to um, reseal him away after killing Demise, restarting the entire cycle over again. And this would actually kind of make sense because if we look at the titles screen or just the title for Tears of the Kingdom, we can see a whole Ouroboros symbol in the back. And this could be symbolizing the eternal cycle of demise of the demise curse of demise's curse so no matter what it'll always reset over and over again despite how hard anyone tries the demise curse will forever go on just like he stated way back in skyward sword so that orbor symbol could represent the endless cycle of demise's curse and we can actually see that actively play out in the story of it ending and then restarting again so i mean it's it's a wild theory that's obviously not gonna happen but hey maybe it could also happen but it's very unlikely but it's also a very cool idea i think that ganondorf will somehow break out of demise's curse join link zelda and hylia to fight against demise and then somehow fall back under the curse restarting the cycle over again so hey i don't know uh, when it comes to speculation, I am massive on it. I am a huge speculative person. I love speculating on stuff, especially for series I'm passionate about, like Legend of Zelda, especially Tears of the Kingdom. So when I speculate, my shit is insane. And it never comes true, but it's always so fun to look at it and see how wrong I was once everything's revealed. But yeah, this was just a short little theory that i had that i just wanted to go over that i think is really dope but probably won't happen um yeah this was really cool again shout out to my guy treyon he's the true homie all right we've been talking about tears of the kingdom ever since the uh gameplay was dropped we've just going back and forth like every day speculating on everything it's great um go follow my guy show him some love and support because he was a big help with sparking and inspiring a lot of this theory and like giving me ideas and whatever so he's the big homie go show him support and uh yeah this video was actually hella fun to make i had so much fun making this i'm not gonna be making any more tears of the kingdom videos unfortunately because you know algorithm doesn't care about my love for tears of the kingdom because i'm a Zetoblade channel and this video doesn't belong here anyway but um 
Yeah, I'm so hyped to see how this game turns out, and I'm going to be no lifing it until wave four drops. But uh, yeah, that's really about it. So as always, thanks for watching. Have a damn good day. Stay safe. Be well and play some goddamn Xenoblade.